Hey guys, what's up? Prima Dusha here. Today we got a video about something which has uh, for a long time crossed my mind and uh, some of you it's actually asked me in the comments. Uh, we saw a lot of time that uh, AP solution works great on a gold plated item. So gold finger, gold, uh, gold plated pins and uh, some, kind, some other kind of material. Uh, after some while, couple of days, AP, uh, hydrochloric acid and the hydrogen peroxide or hydrochloric acid and copper to chloride uh, remove all the base metal and leave on gold, only gold foils. But uh, some of my subscriber and of course me, I ask uh, if that stuff and how that stuff, AP, will work on uh, silver plated pins. So here I got a different type of silver plated pin, pins. This is uh, mostly uh, silver plated copper. I got some tiny pin and I got some thick pin here. So it's copper in the base and uh, very quality silver plating. So I asked myself if I put that on AP after a couple of days when if all the base metal get removed how this silver will stay, like a foil or uh, in some other form, I don't know. So for today, let's try that, okay? Uh, I got some amount of this silver pin here and uh, now here I got more of these pins. So I will remove them from the plastic. Uh, we'll put that on the scale and Actually, for today, we will add AP, but in some other form. For you, I got some nice little visual cake. Uh, I got uh, a copper two crystal, okay? You will see that later. So right now, let's start uh, to populate all that pins and uh, go to measure that, okay? Okay guys, so I finished the population and uh, this is the all amount of pins. Pins is very quality. So right now, see I got some amount of this one, but mostly it's these. So let's go to measure this to see how much we have on the scale. And uh, the next, the next step is a uh, AP batch. Okay. Okay, guys. So right now, we will turn scale on and see how much we have these silver plated pins. Okay, the scale is on zero, and let's find out. Here we got uh, 276 gram. See that? 277 gram uh, pure silver plated pins. Let's put that in some acid. Okay, guys, because this is gonna be a very cheap video, I will use a jar. 
so not that I don't have any beakers I'm gonna show you I do have some beakers like this one this big one but I want to use only cheap material I always try to get this noble metal in the cheapest way so right now we will use this big jar and we got some hydrochloric acid 80-20% from the store this is our pins and uh, for a catalyst I will use a these this is a copper 2 crystal see that you already see this stuff in one in my old video this is just copper in the crystal form and uh, I will definitely use that for a catalyst to just speed up with the process so let's start let's put that all pins I will not cut pins on the half because I want to see if that any acid will go through the silver and uh, remove all the base metal leave only silver foil or, or a silver dust next step is a uh, hydrochloric acid for first we are gonna just take a little of that acid and the next step is we will add some see that crystal to make instant reaction see it's already green and we're gonna leave that on the sun on outside I will have the old crystal go in the solution see it's already done almost on the outside on the sun it's almost gone and this stuff is so cool I keep that for I think almost uh, two year in this jar some amount it's actually go in the liquid form but the crystal back on the bottom it's look very nice isn't that okay guys so we're gonna leave that on the outside it's the simplest simple way that you can do it it uh, in this time of year it's about uh, 40 35 40 degrees outside Celsius every day uh, so we're gonna leave that for a couple of days I covered that with this glass they got a nice hole in the middle uh, for a oxygen source they're gonna slow down and stop evaporation uh, this hydrochloric acid from the jar okay in my next video we're gonna see how actually this stuff uh, can work AP solution on the silver plate pin okay guys so I'll back tomorrow just check how our, how our solution go okay uh, it's passed about six days when we start with this process of silver recovery and uh, this stuff it's uh, usually stay on Sun for these couple of days and uh, solution is look already saturated so let's see what we got on the bottom well see that mostly of the pin is still uh, all but uh, I saw I actually saw some silver foils not too big what I notice is that actually uh, it uh, it's need a lot less time to dissolve some gold pin than silver pin why because the silver is uh, usually much thicker than gold because it is a uh, cheaper and this is very very thick and uh, hydrochloric acid got some uh, problem 
uh, to go through the through all that silver so it's look for me that uh, this stuff is actually working and uh, it can be done but they need a lot more time than uh, for the silver plated pins than for uh, gold plated pins because the, when hydrochloric acid start to attack all that silver uh, they produce some silver chloride and this silver chloride it's actually uh, keep copper from a uh, hydrochloric acid so let's see see that there is some foil see that you see all this foil which is floating and I saw that some copper is dissolved you see by a solution that is saturated but they need a lot a lot more time than gold plated pins okay so what I'm gonna do next and remember if you do this on this way you need to stare at least three four time on today to just remove all that silver foil and expose more copper okay so right now I'm gonna decan this and I add some fresh hydrochloric acid to speed up the process okay I'm gonna leave some little amount of solution because I want that copper dissolved copper in solution to speed up reaction we are keep that solution uh, for a filtration step and right now I'm gonna add a new fresh hydrochloric acid not too much again right now you see that solution is pretty clear and uh, still contain some dissolved copper to speed up the process and if I stir this you see all that silver foil which is floating around and uh, I'll be back for a couple of days to see what is happening and of course when this solution is be saturated I will again add little by little hydrochloric acid a new fresh one okay see you around see you in the next couple of days okay